What's up guys, it's your boy Ace from acemadden.com and today I'm going to show you guys a very spammable play that you guys can use multiple times a game against any coverage. Now before I do that, I want you guys to leave me a comment as to what you want to see this upcoming week in my videos. What do you guys need help with? I can help you guys out. I just need to know what it is that you guys need and I will try my best to deliver. So let me know in the comment section. Now let's get right into it. So we're in the Saints playbook. And the formation is going to be MTY Saint. Now, this is a formation that is kind of going around the community right now. Maybe some kind of YouTuber or something posted something. I don't know who, uh, but I do know that this is a formation that people are using right now. You know, this is a formation that I posted on as a free ebook a couple years ago on, I think, Madden 21. Um, and it's still a very good formation. So we're going to talk about Saint's Fork which is, I mean, it's extremely spammable. All you're gonna do is we're gonna have one set up here. So make sure your trip side is gonna be on the wide side. So if the ball is on the left, you wanna have your strong side on the right. So we have three receivers to the right and all you're gonna do is drag your running back. That's it. And the way you're gonna read this is you're going to just look at your tight end, see if he's covered right off the rip. If he's not, you can throw it to him and rack it. Um, once you start spamming this too much, you know, the user might run out there and even if the user runs out there like that, like imagine that's the user, you still have a step. Do it again. And it's just like, there's, it's really hard to defend this. Like I know how to, but a lot of people won't know how to, and you're gonna get just easy completions and you're just gonna annoy them to death by doing this simple throw. And don't get me wrong, this is not necessarily the money part of this, this play, but it's a really good, addition to have such a quick throw that you can just basically throw no matter what against most things you can rack it here boom look at that catch i mean it, that's as easy as it comes so let's just assume they start taking that away so what do you have next so let's just say they take the tight end away with their user or via another solution uh, you're gonna go ahead and check this corner route this corner route's gonna be wide open you know if you want to fully clear out that outside third, you know, you put B on a streak and you can run it like this. Um, that's kind of up to you. Like this setup right here is really good too. So let's go ahead and run it again. Should have thrown it to my flat, but I could ag that. So against a cover two, he's not necessarily going to get over a cover two flat. But then if it's a cover two, you're going to have this angled post from Y. Let's go ahead and do it again. You're going to see the corner route. I just kind of got shedded there, but the corner route is going to get open, especially if you clear them out with a streak. Check it out. Like that. And then let's just say, let's go to instant replay just to show you a good example of what's going on here. Against the zone coverage, you know, you, you can throw this tight end immediately, like even right here, like he's kind of covered, but he's not at the same time. You could probably pick up a few yards. Um, so just imagine that's the user shooting out to the tight end over committing well that leaves a hole right there in the middle of the field for our drag and you can even throw the angled post route right here as well so like pretty much everything except for the streak is open like you have your your flat route from your tight end that's gonna be open for a few yards your, uh, your corner route's gonna run open the drag is running open and then the angled post is open right here for an inside pass lead so against zone pretty much everything's open against the cover zero uh you're really looking at your tight end first and if he over commits to that you have to throw it to your like tight end or your not your tight end your uh, corner route or your angled post those are your only two options so like right here got an overthrow if you want more time in the pocket versus a cover zero you know just block your tight end so right here might be a cover it's a cover one this is going to get separation versus man coverage it's one of those good corner routes that's just going to consistently beat men right here this looks like it might be a cover three so watch this the overcommit over here, hole is going to be right there for our running back. And there's just an answer versus every coverage. The only thing I'll say is a cover zero. A cover zero can give you some problems if they just play cover zero and commit to the tight end. Because at that point, you have to wait for the break from the angle post or the corner. So those are your only two options You have and you have to get time. So like for instance, this might be cover zero. So you might want to block your tight end. Maybe drag X just in case they fold us and we have an option versus zone. But then I would run it like this. So right here, cover zero. We actually didn't get separation there, but you're usually going to. 
then you'll also get separation versus man on the angled post. So let's see if Godwin got open here. Godwin kind of gets open. You could definitely throw it. I don't think it'll get picked. But yeah, guys, it's it's very simple. And like I said, there's an answer versus pretty much everything. Right here, you can pass lead that inside underneath the deep half. So even though there's no... There's nothing keeping the deep half from um, basically going to the sideline. It's just this guy. He's focused on this guy still, and you, we can still make that catch. I mean, it's a little scary because the mid-read. But assuming there's no mid-read, like the user's using the mid-read, then this is a way easier catch. But, I mean, look at our running back. Running back's just wide open because in Tampa 2, they're just going to drop way back. All those yellows will drop way back. Okay, so that's going to be it for the video. I know it was kind of short today, but I just wanted to show you a quick little setup that you guys should add to your playbook. Make sure you guys let me know in the comment section what you guys want to see for this upcoming week. Whatever you guys need help with, I will try my best to help you guys out. And then as always, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. More Madden 23 content on the way, and it's greatly appreciated. So thanks for watching. I'll see you guys tomorrow.